right, my friends, welcome back. It is October 2nd, 2022, and we're taking a look at the latest solar eruption, a near X-class solar flare, as you can see, erupting from that northeastern quadrant of the sun. Just moments ago, we had an actual X-class solar flare after these two large M-class solar flares. But taking a look at these high def quality videos of that sun explosion are pretty incredible to see, especially when you get to see that massive amount of plasma being released as a result of this eruption. Not to mention these two sunspots are nearly 10 to 20 times the size of Earth. So you can just imagine the amount of plasma and solar wind that gets launched out of these things and why these things have such huge impacts on Earth. Here is a snapshot of those sunspots via the SDO satellite cameras and you can see another one here in the middle kind of making its way towards earth facing a little bit higher than the equator but then on the western edge of the sun this one's going to be pretty interesting because it's already showing a lot of signs of wanting to erupt and it's going to be about a day or two before those are actually starting to face us as well so in the very near future we could be seeing a lot of these solar flares being shot directly at earth itself which we've talked about here on this channel can do many different things including disrupting internet cell phone service they've also been known to cause power outages and actually physical effects to certain people. I've had many subscribers in the comment section telling me that they can actually feel these things once that solar wind is hitting the magnetic field of Earth. And speaking of that magnetic field, this is also a very big reason that we do get large earthquakes during these solar storms. There have been studies done Stop for right years there, and friends. years and years already, about the effect of the solar wind hitting hit that Earth's magnetic icon. field and then click causing crust displacement. We've seen some of the largest earthquakes ever taking place during large solar storms or in another term a geomagnetic storm which is absolutely something we are going to be going through in the next day and a half and even as these new sunspots make their way towards earth facing we could be dealing with even more this chart you're looking at right here is called the Enlil spiral chart this shows a CME leaving the sun which is in the dead center and how that CME expands out across the other planets now if you look closely there is a yellow dot there between that blue and red square that is earth so you could see that this CME is going to clip earth it's not a dead-on shot because as we showed earlier that cme launched off the upper western quadrant of the sun so that's going to put it at a different angle not hitting earth directly but plenty enough to cause a solar storm which in turn could have all those effects that we were just talking about now this chart is very important you are looking at the goes x-ray flux chart and you could see to the far right we actually just had an x-class solar flare and then you could see before that we had those strong m-class solar flares so in theory because all this energy has been launched in part towards earth these things can actually double up and combine with each other making these geomagnetic storms or solar storms a lot stronger than if there was just one cme release all right and this video just came in the data is not even fully processed on all the charts yet but you could see this x-class solar flare leaving that same exact grouping of sunspots we just saw the previous two m-class flares so this is a very active set of sunspots right here and now i've gone ahead and looped this this over and over again because I want you to notice that when these large explosions happen they almost form that shape of an X that is why they are called X flares you can sometimes see that shape in smaller CME releases but when you get that prominent X shape you know you are dealing with a very strong and powerful CME release so that my friends is going to make things a lot more interesting these two large M class solar flares now topped off with an actual X class solar flare is absolutely going to bring some sort of solar storm to the earth in about the next day and a half two days those m-class solar flares will hit first and then that and then the energy from that x-class flare we just saw is going to be right behind it so don't be surprised if we start seeing a large amount of bigger earthquakes between now and the next three days that is a very important point all right my friends that's what i got for you for now i want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video shout out to canada questions or concerns please leave down below and i will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.